Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romani, and welcome back to this YouTube channel that takes on a whole host of issues related to narcissism and understanding narcissistic relationships and people and situations. I have the hope that this information will help you cope and heal and understand and difficult and understand and navigate these difficult people, situations, issues, you name it. So going back to those proverbs, keep getting lots of good ones sent in. And today we're going to take on the proverb, it's easy to be wise after the event. Now, when I first heard this proverb, I was like, that's interesting. This isn't that common. And it's definitely not as common a proverb as many of the others. And basically means, what the proverb means, is that after something has happened, especially when something has gone wrong, it's very easy after the fact to understand it or make sense of it. The origins of this proverb vary. One source takes it back to a French proverb, but I found that it exists in a variety of languages. It's such an interesting proverb to me because it substantiates a key part of the narcissistic survivor's struggle. It's the one phrase I hear uttered by, or multiple phrases I hear uttered by so many survivors. Why didn't I see it sooner? Or how could I have missed this? Or I feel like such an idiot because this is so clear to me now. I really find it heartbreaking to hear people say this to themselves because most of them picked up on the red flags and they sensed something wasn't quite right, but didn't have the vocabulary or sometimes the self-esteem or the template to fully allow themselves to get it. Some people are even in therapy and their therapist can't even help them make sense of it. And even people who do get it, get played. People hate the hopelessness that radical acceptance can evoke, the idea that someone can't change. And many people out there tend to personalize relationship issues. Too many of us assume that we're somehow responsible and are not able to see the disproportionate burden carried by the narcissistic individual for their toxicity and for their cruelty. You know, and it's always been my sort of secret fantasy that this information on narcissism was taught young, like starting in primary school. I think that most school boards are not willing to engage in such pessimistic and cynical teachings. Let's face it, nobody's taught about this anywhere, not college, not life anywhere. People are simply not taught about this. Listen, most therapists aren't taught about this, so why should you be? I am actually amazed at how many survivors, once they read about it, or watch videos about it, or speak to a knowledgeable teacher or therapist, get it, and they get it pretty fast. And once they get it or see it, they're able to put the puzzle pieces together rather quickly. And then, just like the proverb says, they are wise after the event. This proverb is really about 2020 hindsight, right? That's probably more what, how people think of this. It's easy for all of us to be sages and philosophers and prognosticators once something's over. Experience is in fact the best and harshest teacher there is. The key in narcissistically abusive situations is to remain wise, not only after the event, but then to take that wisdom into future events. Sadly, some people get out of narcissistic relationships or are left by a narcissist, but don't really take the time to figure out what happened to them. In those circumstances, the dynamics such as trauma bonding and the associated justifications of a trauma bonded relationship can draw a person right back into a new narcissistic relationship. The only way to get wise after the event is to really learn about it and learn from it and not try to heal by throwing yourself into another toxic relationship. There really are no exceptions to this stuff, folks. And I will be frank with you. I still make mistakes. I see red flags. I justify and I get burned every single time. It's hard to live so close to the bone and honor red flags quickly and without exception. It's a harsh way to live. But I have to say each time it happens to me, to my clients, I'm quicker on the boundaries and I try to teach that to others. 
it's not an easy way to live. It's really not. But is it is the difficult wisdom that having numerous experiences with toxic people can yield any of us. And ultimately, being quick and tight on the boundaries is much better than enduring narcissistic abuse in the long run. The longer you stay in any kind of narcissistic relationship, the worse the fallout will be when it ends. You want to get out fast. The longer you wait, the worse it's going to be. Narcissistic abuse is a funny thing. As hard as I try, I find it difficult to teach people about it if it has not yet happened to them. It's such a drag, right? Because the idea of stopping people before this happens to them seems like the greatest thing ever. But for most people, their lessons come from having survived a relationship and trying to figure it out. It seems that only after it happens does any education about narcissism or narcissistic abuse make an impact. Just like in all issues related to health, prevention is always harder than treatment. People don't want to wear seat belts or sunscreen, but will very quickly go and get the treatment they need for the broken bar bones of the car accident or the, can the, the possible skin cancer of sun exposure. It's sad, but it's true. But we know that, right? Prevention, meh, treatment, right away. Yes, it is easy to be wise after the event, and that's okay. To those of you who have survived toxic relationships, don't be so hard on yourself. These cycles are really hard to spot, especially if you grew up like this. And the self-doubt of long-term survivorship and abuse means that you often doubt yourself and don't trust your judgment on walking away or needing to walk away once those red flags pop up. And in more than a few cases, even once you sense those red flags, you already know, you already know just when the red flags start coming up, it is going to be a nightmare to leave, step away, or distance yourself from this relationship. And the fear of the fallout that accompanies stepping away is often enough to keep you stuck. However, the key isn't just it's not just about being wise after the event. The key is to remain wise after the event, to integrate the lessons, to honor the red flags, and to not fall into the mire of guilt, fear, and hope. Because once you have the lesson, as with all lessons, the key is to keep paying it forward and to try to avoid repeating these cycles again and again. So I hope that proverb makes sense. And the key on that one is... Yes, it's easy to be wise. The key is to stay wise. Thanks again.